Hello and welcome again to the Love Swim Workshop. In this video, we're going to demonstrate and explain the process of making five toys using a scroll saw. Now, we've also combined a few other skills and incorporated our hand carving skills into the process as well. But that's optional. You can choose to have a go at adding some extra details, hand carving them, or you can choose not to. Now the process for making these different projects, they start out with a drawing and we transfer that drawing onto the wood using carbon paper. Draw around your design and then that transfers onto the wood itself. Now the next stage as you can see, we drill out any holes that are needed. So in this case, for this first project, we are working on a horse and cart, like an American West style horse and wagon, I suppose you can call it. So you drill out all the holes that are necessary. And we've also put two pieces of wood together. That's for doing the wagon wheels. So it means that we can cut out two wagon wheels at the same time. Little trick that we use then when we're scroll sawing is if you need to produce two identical pieces at the same time. Use two thinner pieces of wood, stick them together, or in this case, screw them together, and then cut them both out at the same time. So you're gonna see now we're on to using our scroll saw. So we're cutting out our basic shapes. And to add a little bit of extra interest to this project, we've used three different woods. The horse that is going to carry our wagon, that has been cut out in juniper. And juniper, you've got that beautiful contrast between the heartwood and the sapwood. So you cut out that basic profile. You do the same then for the wagon, which has actually been cut out in pine because we haven't got the need to do so much carving work on that. So a simple piece of pine will do the job nicely. And then to contrast the colours, we are cutting out our wagon wheels in two pieces of mahogany. So we've got those two bits of mahogany pinned together. And we do all of our internal cuts and then we do all of our external cuts. On screen then you can see us showing another little skill. And this is using a piece of metal to actually make a dowel. So by cutting your wood fairly small and then forcing it through a metal hole, you can make yourself some dowel. So it's a useful little technique, useful method for making dowel out of wood. Find the size hole that you want in the metal, force the wood through using a mallet or a hammer and your dowel will be cut to the correct shape and size. After that then, you'll see us demonstrating some hand carving and that is most of our preparation done on our first project. straight on to our second project. Again, you can see we start off by marking out the project on the wood itself using carbon paper. So you draw all the designs onto the wood itself, transfer it on there, and that gives you your guideline that you're going to use to cut out on your scroll saw. Again, we've used pine to make our arc because this one is Noah's Ark and some of the animals. So we mark all of that shape out on the pine itself and we have then used again two pieces of mahogany screwed together to cut out our animals. That gives you that contrast between the arc which is in pine, a lighter woods, and the mahogany animals which are a darker woods. 
For anyone of interest then, we recycle and reclaim our mahoganies. So as you can see, you're over onto the scroll saw and you're cutting out those animal shapes. Cutting them out one by one, but nice thing with this one, because you've got the two pieces of mahogany stuck together, you are actually cutting your animals out. The same as it says in the story of Noah, two by two. So we end up with two lions, two hippos, two giraffes, and two elephants. But again, you can use all sorts of different animals, all sorts of different designs, whatever you want to do. Once we finish then cutting out all of the different shapes, we've used our hand carving skills just to add a little bit of extra detail, just a little bit of extra flair to them. But if you are not confident in doing wood carving, if you're not interested in doing wood carving, don't worry about that. Stick to cutting that basic outline on the scroll saw and finish them up. They will look just as nice. But it's just to add a little bit of extra flair and a little bit of character to the design itself. One thing it is worth noting as well, um, anybody who's got the skill of wood carving, a scroll saw then is a really useful addition. It can add an extra element to your wood carving. And equally then, anybody who has the skill of scroll sawing, it's worth learning those skills of wood carving, only if it's just a few basics, because it can add some extra flair to the work that you do. Now on to our third project, same process, you mark it all out on the wood using carbon paper or whatever it is that you're going to use to mark around. You then drill your pilot holes for the internal cuts that you're going to do. Over to your scroll saw and then you're cutting the basic outline, in this case it's a rocking horse. So you cut the outline of your rocking horse out on the scroll saw itself. You then do the internal cuts. So any internal cuts that need to be done, you drill that hole, feed the blade into the hole itself and cut out that outline, that profile of your internal cuts. Once we finished doing our internal cuts, we then back onto the hand tools to have a little go and add in some extra flair by doing a little bit of hand carving. Another nice toy, another nice project to have a go at and our third project is to make a rocking horse. Again the wood that we've used for this one it is a piece of juniper. Beautiful timber for the colour but also the fragrance that you get from it. On to our fourth project, and this one is a pen or pencil holder. We are going to cut it out in the shape of a teddy bear. We're back to using a piece of pine. The reason I chose this, I had a piece that was slightly thicker. 
And because you're going to drill that hole in the top as your pen or pencil holder, it allows us um, enough thickness to drill that hole in the top. So again, we're onto our scroll saw. We cut out that basic profile. In this particular example, we, we don't have any internal cuts. So we don't have to worry about doing any internal cuts. We cut that profile around the outsides. We then go on to working with our hand tools again, just to add a little bit of extra flair, a bit of extra character to it. And you mark out the face, the paws, the feet, the ears, just to give the teddy bear an extra dimension. Really is, if anyone's doing scroll sawing and you're looking to add another element to the work you do, doing hand carving can really add another dimension. As you can see then, we're just drilling that hole in the top of our teddy bear and the pencil, it fits in the top. Our final project now, um, a little bit more advanced in terms of the carving. So this is a little bit more tricky. So if you haven't done any carving before and you're mainly doing scroll sawing, this one then is a more difficult project. But we put it in there because it's a nice demonstration and it's another idea that you could potentially have a go at. This project then, it's, it's to make out um, like a Pinocchio, just a little bit of fun. Again, we're using juniper, a beautiful wood with a beautiful perfume. And you start off by marking out on the wood using carbon paper. You're transferring that design onto the wood itself. You then use your scroll saw to cut our outline. Again, we drilled a hole for the nose and we'll come back onto that later. But other than that, for cutting out Pinocchio, there are no other internal cuts. So we're using our scroll saw just to do those external cuts. So we do that basic profile. And then after that, again, we bring it into our workbench in next door. And we add that extra flair, that character to the project by doing the hand carving. So once you have finished your scroll saw work and your hand carving, we're then concentrating on the finishing of our toys. So we start off by sanding everything down with a very fine sandpaper. So this one here is a P180, but quite a, a worn P180, just to sand everything over. You might want to do some hand sanding as well if you think it's necessary. And after that, we're adding, as always, three coats of shellac sand and sealer. Add your first coat, rub it down then with a finishing sandpaper, somewhere around about a P320. Put a second coat on, rub it back down again. A third coat of shellac should bring it up to a good finish. After that, the final part of making these toys is to actually add our wagon wheels to our wagons. So we just tap them on with either a mallet or a hammer. Remember the hole we've drilled for the wagon, that's slightly wider, which will allow the wheels to run nice and smoothly. A smaller hole for the wagon wheels, so they are a bit tighter. So there you go. Those are our five projects. We've got a horse and a wagon, Noah's Ark, a rocking horse, our Pinocchio with his nose, as you can see, if he tells lies, his nose gets bigger, and our pen or pencil holder. Five simple projects for you all to have a go at. Thank you all again, and as always, we'll be back again soon with more videos.